Hello and welcome to the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast. I'm your host, Frank Gray, and we are brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. I'm glad to uh, get this podcast unleashed out of the box today. Uh, it's going to be really good. Man. We're going to talk about what it means to be a warrior, a warrior in the mortgage business. That's what we're going to talk about today. And uh, this is inspired by my good friend, Steve Kyles, and my partner, uh, let's get started here on the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast. Once again, I'm your host, Frank Gray, brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. Uh, on Loan Officer Breakfast Club every morning, I do what's called the Daily Spark. And the, the Daily Spark is just a spark, right? It's something that's meant to kind of get the juices flowing on the Breakfast Club. And, it, you know, a little word of encouragement or something to ponder, think about that kind of a thing. And it kind of just gets the conversation started. And then the breakfast club just kind of goes wherever it goes from there. It's a, it, the one thing that's pretty cool. If you're not aware of, of, of the breakfast club, go to loanofficerbreakfastclub.com, free 30 minutes of coaching every single day, Monday through Friday. Uh, absolutely phenomenal, completely free. Uh, but one thing about it that's interesting is, is it's never, it's, I shouldn't say never, it's rarely planned. Like it's rarely you know, got an agenda for each specific day or anything like that. Pretty rare. Pretty much we're showing up and it's live all the way through, you know, we'll do it live, right? It's one of those things where that's what we do. So, but anyway, I, I start it with a spark and the daily spark is usually something that's inspired me or, you know, something has happened or occurred or something in the business, my personal book of business, whatever it might be. And I get inspired to talk about something and I tell you, there's never a lack of things to talk about in this business. So uh, anyways, I start with the Daily Spark. And so today's Daily Spark was how to be a warrior. And where this inspiration came from was, was I was having a conversation with my, my uh, partner and friend, Steve Kyles. We run a branch together. Uh, and, you know, we were talking about, well, I'll just say it. You know, we were talking about recruiting, right? We were talking about you know, the kinds of people and the kinds of originators that we come across. And Steve is, um, you know, Steve has been doing this for l longer than I on the recruiting angle of things. You know, I, I was very successful in the early years in doing it, but then had a quite a large break in origination doing the national real estate post, of course. And then, so I've recently come back, but Steve is just really, really good at it. At any rate, he said to me, look, there's like five kinds of originators that are out there there's five and the the and for lack of a better way to say it the bottom two we don't necessarily want to engage with right or, or try to start a relationship with but the the top three are you know good good originators that got a good head on their shoulders that are you know worthy of trying to build a relationship with and so i thought for this podcast i'd go through those five five types of originators that we see on a regular basis and just lay it out there. And, you know, so you could maybe ponder, you know, what do you think you are, you know, kind of a self-assessment, you know, where are you and where do you want to be? And so the five types of originators that, that we come across, and this is going, and Steve may have already done a podcast on this. I don't know. And I'm sure it's going to be way better than this one, <laughs> but uh, uh, starting from the bottom, going to the top, right. You know, as far as awesomeness is concerned. So at the bottom, we have victims and victims are people whose demeanor or, you know, their attitude is that they're always the victim of something. It, it could be the company's got a problem or the branch manager's got a problem or the realtors have a problem or the closing companies have a problem or the funder or the underwriter or the processor or the borrower or whatever or the market or you know, they're just the victim of circumstance, right? And it's just always like that. And believe me, I've run across this many, many times. Uh, heck, I think maybe we've all played the victim at some point, right? But but there there can be uh, those who are just always feeling like they're victimized, right? And so obviously not necessarily the best people to, you know, try and build a relationship if you're recruiting. So for my branch managers out there that are recruiting, let's think about this, right? And you could figure out victims pretty quick. Um, but the next group of people are the pessimists. There's a lot of pessimists, 
right now in the industry, just jump on Facebook, jump into any mortgage centric Facebook group loaded with pessimists, tons of pessimists, victims and pessimists. They tend to kind of live there uh, is what I found is or a lot of them do. And, I, you know, misery loves company, uh, all that kind of stuff. They love to complain or worry or, you know, whatever. And these are the ones that, you know, you know, that that will say, well, nobody has any business out there right now. Really? Come to breakfast club and see some of our peeps. You, you, that tune will change real fast. Um, or everybody's slow, or you know those types of things. Oh, the market sucks. Duh, it'll, there's no sense in making any calls to the past. Nobody's gonna refi. I don't want to call my past client debt. Nobody's gonna refi in the past client database. I'm not gonna do. You know those type of pessimistic people. Rates. Oh God. No. Oh, nobody can afford to buy a house. Nobody. You know, these are pessimists. No fun, no fun. And so that's them. Then you have your optimists, right? Um, optimists are great. I like, to, I'm an optimist. I, I've, I'm, I'm very optimistic. I'm, I'm always looking, you know, for the silver lining, right? I'm always looking on the brighter side of things. And I always, you know, I always feel like there's always something better ahead, no matter what anyway. And I, it's just a part of me. It's just who I am. And I'm kind of wired that way. You know, even if things are tough right now, I know they're going to be better, you know, and uh but the thing about optimists is, is that it's cool to be an optimist and it's good to have that attitude, but without action, it doesn't really go anywhere, you know? So, I mean, it's, it's, it's great to work with optimists because they're pleasant to work with, right? They're very pleasant to work with. They're, you know, they're always optimistic. They're like, yeah, everything's going to be fine. So, but that doesn't mean that they're very motivated or very driven or very results oriented, right? Um, optimists, pleasure to work with, probably coachable, you know, um, but might just be really genuinely happy, unsuccessful people, right? It, it could, it could definitely go that route or they could be successful as well. But uh, being an optimist, certainly better than being a pep pessimist or a victim, right? Then we get into realists. Okay. And then we get into warriors. So you've got victim, pessimist, optimist, realist, warrior. Okay. I got it. If you're if you're watching me on YouTube, I got a W on my hat, and that's what it's for. That's actually not true. It's for wildcats, but I'm gonna say it's for warrior today. But anyway, uh, you know, we go from optimist to realist. Now, realists, realists are are individuals, they're certainly they're optimistic, but they're also putting it into action right? They're making it happen. Uh, they understand things happen and they just get through it, right? They just muscle through it. You know, you just push to the other side and um, they get the results, right? They get results. And so these are our realists, right? They understand this is the mortgage business. They're very realistic about what's going on. They're not, you know, they're not easily put down or kicked down or squashed or, you know, oppressed they're like no man i i get i think the way the best way to understand a realist is is they understand that this is their business this is their gig they're in control of everything they have no there's no blame game here and they're just moving forward to get it done to hit the goal that they're after but then comes the warriors the warriors are definitely realists right but the warriors have a certain level of intensity you know Warriors, uh, they bring the results into reality, right? So your realist, they're doing it. They're doing great. But the warriors are the ones that, you know, are just killing it out there. Like there's, look, we're, we're talking to people in breakfast club all the time. They're closing 20 deals a month, 30 deals a month, 40 deals a month. Gosh, one of our favorites to, to, to talk about is Tammy Saul, just an incredible originator that's out there. For her to close 40 or 50 deals a month, she feels like she's slacking. You know, it's like, it's unacceptable. You know, I mean, she's just ferocious. And, and, uh, but these are warriors, right? Warriors have a, have just a very focused uh, approach to things. So I've got a list here. I, 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 I I've got a printout of what we kind of went over. Uh, on on uh, the breakfast club today about being a warrior and you know here's here's just a few points i'll i'll pick a handful i won't i won't go too long cuz i don't want this podcast to be long i hate long podcasts but number 1 the number one way to be a warrior you know is you just got no doubts 
There's no second guessing and there's no hurt feelings. Right. And so what I mean by no hurt feelings is, you know, you got to be thick skinned, you know, warriors are thick skinned, right? They can take it. The other thing too, is when you're a warrior, you're probably going to be in the limelight somehow, at least with your company, your own company, maybe, uh, you know, within the rankings of who's number one this month and all that. And, you know, you got those warriors on the top. Anybody who's on the top is worth picking on, right? And to to lesser, you know, minded people, uh, there's a re- there's always a reason for it. Well, they've got this, they've got that, right? Right. So, but you can get picked on, so you need to have thick skin, right? You can get kind of poked at sometimes. A true warrior embraces every no as a step closer to yes. Each rejection is just another brick in the fortress of their success. Right. Remember, those who say no now may be the ones begging for your services later. And I think, you know, what I mean by that is if we're if we're reaching out to referral partners, realtor referral partners, and we get a bunch of no's, it's okay. Warriors don't care. They just don't care. They're thick skinned. You know, it's next. They just move on to the next one. You know, you get on the phone. Hey, this is Frank. I just wanted to get to know you. You're doing great. I don't want these calls. You guys, hey, I hate all you guys and they hang up on me. It's like, okay, next. Thick skin, man. You don't get hurt. You don't get hurt feelings over this. There's no crying in mortgage, right? You just move on. It's what you do. No doubts. No second guessing. I got my plan. I know what I'm doing. I have no doubt that I'm going to succeed. And I go for it. Somebody gives me some pushback or rejection or whatever. So what? Move on. No hurt feelings. Uh, I like this too. Fierce and relentless. Warriors are fierce and relentless. They show no mercy to their competitors. And all I mean by that is, this is what I mean by that, is warriors execute the plan every day without fail. They're relentless in it, right? They have, uh, um, they execute relentlessly, which is another point. It'll be the next point I'll, I'll bring up. They execute relentlessly. That's what they do. And it's in their personal of this relentless execution of their plan, of their prospecting activities. That's what is indeed showing no mercy to the competition, right? The competitors won't do it. They won't pick up the phone. They won't make the call. Or if they do, they'll do it so-so, right? Not relentlessly. That's how a warrior um, shows no mercy to his or her competition because they're relentless. They just do it every single day. They're out there, right? They're out there. Others may be out there resting on their laurels, the competition, but they're not. Warriors are executing their plan. That's what they're doing, right? They're focusing on what matters. They're unstoppable, relentless. They're the apex predator in their field. The apex predator, right? You can't beat them. You just can't. If you want to compete with them, you better step up. You better step up. You can compete with them. Anybody can be a warrior. Just got to do it, right? Just got to do it. All right. Yeah. They have, they, they relentlessly execute. They attack with determination from the moment your feet hit the ground, attack your tasks with unwavering determination. Each call, each conversation, each follow-up is a step towards your ultimate victory. Relentless execution is the warrior's way. Right. You know, um, I think I'll, I'll, I'll just wrap. There's, there's actually seven points here. You can see this, actually. If you go to loanofficerbreakfastclub.com, and in the top navigation, you'll see the Daily Spark. You'll see that up there. You can click there. We post them every day. So you can go and see. There's several points. There's actually seven points. I've only read a few. But uh, there's one last one that I want to read. Just as a reminder for us in our self-reflection, right? <laughs> and we're trying to evaluate who am I? in this puzzle, right? Am I a victim? Am I a pessimist? Am I an optimist? Am I a realist? Or am I a warrior, right? Here's, here's, here's the number seven, right? No blame game. No blame game. True warriors don't blame others for their failures. They take charge of their lives and make success happen. Have you seen people do this? I've seen it a lot. Own your actions. Learn from your mistakes 
and continuously strive to improve. Your destiny is in your hands. This is the mindset of a warrior, right? That's who they are, man. They just make it happen. I I like to tell the story. I might have told it on the last podcast. I don't know, but we have a gal on Breakfast Club, Yawande, brand new to the business, less than a year, less than a year. Found us. I don't know how podcasts or whatever found her way to Loan Officer Breakfast Club. Has been a faithful Breakfast Club attendee uh, for just about a year. And Yawande, I think in June, I think 13, 14 transactions, something like that. Hmm. I wonder what the pessimists listening to this are thinking about that. Well, there's something else. There's something going on there. That's not. Well, that's the pessimist. Right? Don't be a pessimist. Let me tell you, she's a warrior. She's been in the business under a year. She's a warrior. Relentless. Has her plan. Attacks it relentlessly. Doesn't. She's got thick skin already. Just whatever. Nose just bounce right off of her. Just move on. Next one. Amazing. Right? Just amazing. And there's plenty of others on Breakfast Club and Marketing Animals and Freedom Club that are like that. They're really inspirational to me. Now that I'm back in the biz, I'm trying to be like them. I want to be. I'm on call stars every day. Making calls. Trusting the process, looking forward to the result, right? Listen, man, uh, look, I don't know who you are, or what, where you're at, or what in your self-assessment you think you are, whether you're a victim or a pessimist or an optimist or a realtist or, or, or a warrior. I don't know where you are, but no matter where you are, uh, if you need help with anything, I know we can help. We can help in various ways. Mortgage Marketing Animals, come on over. MortgageMarketingAnimals.com, check it out. Join us at Breakfast Club for free, free, 30 minutes. Why not? Free. Come on over. Come on over. LoanOfficerBreakfastClub.com. Freedom Club. Come to Mortgage Marketing Animals and learn what Freedom Club is and how powerful that is. I mean, there's so much at your fingertips. Some of it free. Loan Officer Breakfast Club is free. I tell you, man, I don't know. I don't know about you, but man, I want to be a warrior. I, you know, I just want to be one of these originators. My last few years, or you know, my last few laps and years in this business or laps around the mortgage block here, um, I want to go out with a bang. You know, I want to be, I want to be really solid, man. I want to be this guy that's doing, you know, 10 to 15 a month, uh, which is fine for me. That's my thing, right? And we all got to have our own thing, right? But bear in mind, I'm at the latter stages of my career. So 10 to 15... Th- a month for the next three to four years would be just a wonderful thing for me. And that's where I want to go. And that's what I'm going to do. I just, I have to do it. Um, because I'm a warrior at heart, man. I'm not, I don't, I'm good with a no, you know, I'm good with rejection, whatever. I got a big list. I got a big list of realtors to call on big list. And I only need about, I don't know, 25, 30 of them to be my friend. That's it. And these are all high producing agents too. That, that That's what I'm after, right? So anyways, where are you at? You you let us know where you're at and where you want to be. And you reach out to us. You just reach out to us. Go to mortgagemarketinganimals.com and reach out. You can go to dailysuccessplan.com and reach out. You can join us free at loanofficerbreakfastclub.com to get started. And uh, we hope to see you there. Be a warrior. Be a warrior. All right. You guys have a good one. We'll catch up with you here next time on the Mortgage Loan Officer Podcast. I'm your host, Frank Array, and we're brought to you by the Mortgage Marketing Animals. We'll see you. 